Even though I can't fish, you guys, I had to order some tackle. New bass rod by Daiwa. We'll do an open box review here in a minute. What's going on, YouTube? All right, so package in the mail. <laughs> of course, I'm out of commission, can't fish right now. Uh, I start physical therapy tomorrow for my back. Uh, but you know, when we're ain't got nothing else to do, what do we do? Shop online, right? So I had to get me a new bass rod. Uh, I used the KVD Tour rod for bass flipping and stuff, but I got that, I guess you would consider it like OCD or whatever. I like to match up my rod with my reel. Uh, I run the Daiwa DX uh, swim bait rod uh, with the Daiwa Lexa 300. And so I want my bass setup to match, which I run the Daiwa Laguna uh, baitcaster and I was running the KVD Tor. Uh, rod, which is a good rod, don't get me wrong. But I want something with a little bit more backbone, a little bit more durable, and easier for me to be able to flip them bass up on the docks. Don't mind the music in, in the background, I'm actually waiting for USPS. I have a package miss that's lost in the mail, so I'm dealing with that. Being on hold for 30 minutes, I figured I'd be able to knock this video out. So, tackle warehouse order. I paid 80, I wanna say $84 or $85 for this rod, and Everything I like, I love everything Daiwa. Daiwa is a really great company. You can't go wrong with ordering from Daiwa or anything that is Daiwa. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bust this rod out. It is a 7.3 extra heavy bass rod. And of course, I can't even. Yeah. And mind you guys, whenever you buy a rod, from Tackle Warehouse. Make sure you keep your rod to This rod, the Daiwa rod actually comes with five year warranty and their warranty is phenomenal. I really like Tackle Warehouse more than any other company um, around. So, let's see if I can get this bad boy out of here. And uh, this is a cork handle and what I do to my cork handle uh, fishing rods is I use a, um, what is it called? I'll show you guys right now the tape. I use a tape. It's uh, Gorilla Tape, excuse me. Waterproof Gorilla Tape I use. And it keeps that cork protected so that cork won't get damaged. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the backbone on this thing. This reminds me of just totally like my swim bait rod that I have right now. Uh, this is a extra heavy fast taper. So sexy. Nothing better than getting new. Fishing equipment. It just sucks I can't use it right now. If I can get it out of the rapid. Pull like a little kid on Christmas. Ah, I just want to see it. Few inches later. Uh, one thing do uh, do do when you buy brand new rods is make sure you check it. Make sure you know the eyes, everything are legit on it. Last thing you want to do is get out there, cast off an expensive bait, or you know do some casting and it ends up cutting your line. Oh man, this is sexy. I like it. I guess I better show you guys. Oh, that's cool, a new Daiwa uh, logo actually on the rod itself. Um, but I'm still gonna tape it up no matter what. I do anyways. Uh, I do leave the plastic on there, then I just tape it up. Look at this thing, let me bring this into you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me get this around. Beautiful rod. Let me get some lighting in here real quick. As I stated, it's a 7.3 extra heavy. And this is made specifically for bass fishing it is the bass rod so you can see DXB that means uh, Daiwa extra heavy bass I believe and it's a 7.3 there's a Daiwa logo there this thing's sexy look at that HVF I don't really know what that stands for there's your rod guides she's pretty look at this I love the finish on these rods you can throw, uh, this is, as I stated, 7.3 extra heavy. The reason I got extra heavy is because it gives you more option for a little bit more weight. 
So you can throw your lure weight up to 1.5 ounces and your line goes up to 12 to 25. Uh, for bassing, I use 15 pound big game. I might be switching up to 17 pound uh, P line CXX here soon. So, very beautiful rod. Stay tuned, you guys will be seeing more of this. It's got the Fuji, you can see there. Fuji Blank, I believe it is. Quality Fuji products. Here's the nice stiff tie on. Let me go grab my rod or my reel. I'll put the reel on here and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, here's that Daiwa logo I was telling you about. I think that's the Daiwa logo from what I'm assuming. Hard to see. But I'm going to pause you guys here and go get um, my reel, my bait caster, and I'll show you what it looks like on there. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So there it is. The Daiwa Laguna on the Daiwa DX bass rod. Tell me that does not look beautiful. It feels so well balanced as well. I think I did a very good matchup on this. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, I just looked up on the tag here, is the Concept O, uh, which is, I know I keep getting out of frame here, the deep pressed frame for added durability and 360 protection for the eyes. So I said, make sure you check your eyes um, when you first receive your rod, make sure they didn't get banged up or nothing, because that's very important. Uh, if I got a chip in my eye, I won't even fish it. Honestly, uh, phrase your line, you end up losing, you know, your lures or swim baits. Uh, so yeah, this is sexy. I love it. I haven't seen much reviews on YouTube on this, so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna buy it, do a review on it, and I already know I'm gonna love it. I mean, it just, it's so beautiful. I believe the handle itself is a 14 and 3 fourths uh, of an inch. 14 inches and three fourths, three quarters uh, for the handle length, which I really like because I don't like long handles one for my bassing or small swim bait setups. And that's another reason why I really wanted this rod because it throws, as I stated, up to one and a half ounce uh, lures. Uh, my KVD rod, which is a very nice rod. The KVD rod is very nice. Uh, this is the Couture KVD. I know I keep jumping out of the screen here. The Tor KVD, it's a very nice rod, you guys. I mean, look at the backbone on this thing, but it's not as durable as Daiwa. Um, I was only able to throw up to a half ounce, which is good for jigging, but I really wanted this Daiwa setup for my small swim baits and for also bassing. Um, so yeah, I have my Daiwa DX swim bait rod with the Daiwa, uh, Lexa 300 for big swim baits and stuff, but this is going to be perfect for you know those three to six ounce or three to six inch swim baits. Uh, so yeah, this thing's sexy, I love it. So yeah, buddy, I'll try to get a further distant view for you guys. I mean, this thing, I'm loving it, it's so beautiful. I just I can't wait to get out there and just you know crank it. You still got enough handle to place under your arm, you know, for bassing when you're cranking them in. So that's one thing that's really good. I don't have too much of a handle, but just enough to be able to still place, you know, that handle under the armpit when I'm cranking. So, ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to go fish it. Um, one thing I did point out is you have your hook eye here. Uh, which is very nice. I actually like how they did it this time on this setup. Uh, my swim bait rod, it was facing upwards and I was having a lot of issues with the line getting stuck in there. So I ended up trimming that off and then re-epoxying uh, that area. And now on my swim bait rod, I don't have an area to place my swim bait hooks. When you know my swim baits are down, I usually place it in the handle. Don't place your guys' swim baits within this area. A lot of people do, but it starts to damage your, uh, your bait casters, so. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I can't wait. This thing's got so much backbone, you guys. Look at this thing. I mean, it's a fast taper, so the, the tip's not too shabby. You know, it's not a lot of flex, but it's enough, you know, to be able to get that hook set in. Uh, but that backbone is just, it's a very solid rod. So, woo! Oh, I can't wait to go fishing. I'm dying now. Man, it's going to be fun. It's going to be good times. Uh, for now on, just for Daiwa, because uh, I have been in contact with them, what I will be doing is 
you know, taking a lot of photos with my rod and reel so you guys can see what kind of fish I've been catching on these setups. You know, from my swim bait setups to my bassing setups. So I'll be taking a lot of photos next to my rods. That way you can see the size comparisons on the fish compared, you know, what I've been actually pulling, horsing out uh, with these types of rods. Daiwa, man, I tell you, I really love Daiwa a lot. Durability, it's just phenomenal. So, I mean, I'm not bashing any other companies, but I'm just saying Daiwa is my go-to. So, yeah, buddy. Stay tuned, more videos coming your way. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions on this, and I will be doing updated reviews as soon as I'm able to get back on the water and fish it. So, we're gonna do an also separate video on my bass setup, what I throw for bass, different jigs, um, finesse, and so on and so forth. That'll be another video, so stay tuned. Love you guys, I'm up and out. Peace.